Hey guys, welcome to vtcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss square of an integers. So now let us consider few integers like minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 and minus 1 then 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 so on. So here these are the integer numbers and now let us square the integer. That is here minus 7 into minus 7 is nothing but 49. Similarly square the integer minus 6 we get 36 and so on. So here by observing the square of integer we can see that the square of integers do not end in the digits 2, 3, 7 and 8 and the last digit of each perfect square is either 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Now here let us consider a natural number 4. So the factors of 4 are 1, 2 and and the number 4 itself. So here 4 is nothing but 1 into 4 or 4 into 1 and then it is also 2 into 2. So here the factors are equal. In such a case one of the equal factor named 2 is the square root of 4. And 4 is the square of the number 2. Now let us consider few more examples and find the square of integers. So here the given number is 9. Square of 9 that is 9 into 9 which is equal to 81. So here we can say that square root of 81 is 9 and square of the number 9 is 81. Now let us consider the another number that is 16. So here square of 16 that is 16 into 16 which is equal to 256. And here 256 is the square of the number 16 and square root of 256 is 16. Now let us consider the another integer that is 25. So now let us find the square of 25 that is 25 into 25 is equal to 625. So here 625 is the square of 25 and square root of 625 is 25. So here we can write square root of 81 is 9. Similarly square root of 256 is 16 and square root of 625 is 25. So this was the basic introduction on square of integers. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.